SpinLaunch is developing an electric-powered kinetic launch system that offers low-cost, sustainable access to space. To do something this ambitious, we really need a vast ecosystem of partners to help support the kinetic launch system and its high capacity. One of the key components to space is having power. And so finding a low-cost solar cell provider is key to that. Celestial is a solar energy company for space. We're starting with panels for spacecraft, but we see the long-term future in utility-scale infrastructure and services for the space economy at large. We started working with Spin Launch late last year. Spin Launch has a novel uh, technology to bring things to orbit, and that technology exposes components to forces that are different than other launch systems. Once they understood that 10,000 Gs and how it was applied was not a, a force being applied to the edge of the cell, but it was actually the loading being distributed across the whole cell, they realized that even though the acceleration is very high, the mass is so low and so well distributed that it really wasn't going to be a problem. The intuition is wrong. In most cases, you know, if there are any design changes required at all, they're very minor. Um, and the forces within the accelerator are extremely predictable, as opposed to random vibrations that happen with normal launch systems. After discussing the theory, we wanted to move into the practical application and really understand what it would be like to test and what the cell would look like in the environment. We designed a fixture that would hold the cell in the correct orientation. We put it into the accelerator, loaded it up correctly, spun it up slowly to make sure that over time that there were no issues, then spin it all the way up to 10,000 Gs, pulled it out, and then we did the follow-on testing to make sure that there were no microfractures, looked at it under a microscope, and then finally did the electrical testing where we shined a light onto it and checked the voltage to make sure it was actually producing the voltage that it was supposed to. The results after the testing were phenomenal. We didn't find any fractures, we didn't see any foundational issues with the parts. Everything performed the way we expected it to. Working with the Spin Launch satellite engineering team has been amazing. As we started working with the team and, and actually saw the test data coming out, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Um, we didn't even have to make any engineering changes, and our uh, technology was completely compatible with the Spin Launch environment. It's been great working with the team um, historically, and we're really looking forward to, to scaling this effort up um, and working together to make uh, high cadence, low cost access to space a reality. Thank you.